It is Thursday, September 15th in Toronto, and we are on our way to Christie Pitts Park with the off-grid 3D printing station. In the last video, I built and tested this station, and today we are going to be offering free 3D printed repairs all afternoon, and this time we have a solar panel. I'm hoping that will give us enough power to last all day. Let's go. Ooh. I said in the last video that having two of the wheels not be spinny casters would make this easier, but having all four as spinny casters, it gives you like a ton of maneuverability. Like I would not be able to do this if this was like two straight wheels. Oh shoot. Oh dang. Okay, yeah, that's what I don't want to do. I don't want to hit an obstacle sideways because I feel like that's when we're going to tip over. <sighs> Probably could have used some stronger magnets on these uh, doors. <laughs> Or I could have just bungee corded it shut, actually. Hang on. There we go. Perfect. So we technically could go down right there, but the ramp is like super steep where it goes around the public pool. So I don't think it's a good idea. Ooh, you know what? Maybe we should hop the curb and go up here onto the sidewalk and then we can cut around. I think I'm gonna try that. This is a true test of the off-roading capabilities. Oh boy. Ah, I need to go from that side. Let's go. Are you going down here? No, we can, this hill? I was, Are I was serious? shocked. There we go. Oh boy. I think we want to go over there. Ooh, that's a good spot with some sun and some shade. I think like just, yeah, keep going. I should have brought like a flag to plant. I know. I think this is good. Perfect, yeah, that's what I was thinking, that right little crest. Here. All right, this is home. Ah. Oh, that feels good. Wow, this is like when you finally find a campsite after hiking. I feel so like, such a wave of relief. You really packed this well. So you might be wondering, Morley, why didn't you just put the solar panel on the top? Well, this has glass in it, and I didn't want the 40-pound one wheel to crush it. But shout out to EcoFlow for sending me this. This is a 220-watt bifacial? Yeah, bifacial solar panel, which means that it has cells on either side. And we're gonna hook this up to the EcoFlow Delta II. Show the sky. Show how there's like literally not a single cloud in the sky. This day could not be more perfect. I found one. It's hard to see on the camera. It's a whiskey cloud. The sun is over there. I mean, it's pretty easy to move, eh? Yep. The original plan was to build, make this the roof of the enclosure, but then I opened this and saw how big it was. And I'm happy I didn't as well because uh, this gives us more flexibility. In a setting like this, we probably will have to move it around a bit. So we can stay in shade and then this can stay in sun. This is actually a, uh, a piece okay. from my, what's it called, stand-up mixer. Oh, gotcha, like an immersion yeah. blender. It's supposed to stay on, right? It's supposed yeah. to turn and twist, but it doesn't anymore. So, so the inside gotcha. locks have come off, and it's supposed to lock into those. Oh, um, wow, okay. I know it's complicated, and if you, you, know, if you can't do it, then that's okay. I'll give it a try. It'll be a good challenge. All right, let's do it. 2.04 inches. So I took measurements of the top and bottom and got those there. So now I'm just making the profile and I'm going to revolve that. There we go, so there's the external shape. All right, so this thing looked really simple at first, but the more I looked at it, the more I saw that there was going on. There are these little notches that kind of lock it in place. And then, then these other pieces inside that interface with the attachments. So because this is a relatively big, like all together, this would probably be two hours to print. Right now, I'm just testing out this bottom section to test the fit. So I modeled that part, and while that's printing, I'm continuing designing. And now that we're actually using the printer, I'm really curious to see what our power input and output is like. If you wanna show the solar panel, it is kinda of like half in shade right now. I think we gotta move a little bit. There we go. 100, 100 and climbing. 101. All right, so I'm just kinda of working my way from the bottom to the top, so. This bottom part is what we're printing right now with the little interface pins. 
And now this is all kind of like empty space. And I think that's just because to save material during the injection molding process. So I made that more of a solid piece. So that should be a lot stronger. Hopefully it won't break in the same way it did before. And then these little ridges in here that I'm modeling up and I'm almost at the top part where it kind of funnels into here. There she comes. Did you get a, a snack too? Yeah. What did you get? Is this yellow? I oh, got no. a hazelnut cold brew with espresso foam. Wow. How is it? It's really good. Hashtag gonna... not sponsored by Tim Hortons. Hashtag not sponsored. We gotta move this into sun. The shade is encroaching oh, fast. The shade is encro and we are almost done. I think this is like six minutes left. There we go. All right, I am a little nervous because the nubs were mostly broken off, so I didn't have a lot to go off of, but I think it will work. That's why you make a test print. Yeah. Okay. I need to use a bit of support material. Okay. If it's too tight, I can always trim some. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Is that perfect? It's pretty perfect. Like, here, I'll put it next to the mic so you can hear the lock into place. That is awesome. They're these little nubs that I printed with the vertical parts and those stop against these four pieces here. So you put it on, twist 45, and it's on there. Okay, I'm gonna print the whole piece. I think we're pretty much good to go. This is gonna be a relatively long print, so if other people come by, I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> So this is a good test of the weatherproofing of the enclosure. I don't know if you can tell, but it's decently windy right now. And our bed adhesion is still going strong. So I think this enclosure is doing its job protecting the print from the wind. Could not have asked for a more beautiful day. Look at this, this is amazing. Although the shade keeps moving, so I have to keep moving the solar panel. Look who came to visit. Ah. Hello puppy dog. Oh, hi. Hi. He's Hi. very excited. Abby, come here. There we go. Good girl. Oh, you're so good. Oh, you found the pouch. Should we show people all of your tricks? Let's do your fun one. Abby, touch. Good wow. girl. Good job. This is my favorite one. Through. Good girl. And then you get the chest rub. You get the wiggle waggle. Abby, poopy pants. Wah. All right, this spot seemed really nice before, but the solar panel is entirely in shade right now, and we don't really have anywhere left to go without just going in the middle of the soccer field. So we're gonna do a big move over there. This print still does have an hour and a half, so I'm gonna move this very gently so as not to disturb the print. This is literally a mobile 3D print. What do you think? I think that looks great, and the solar panel to your left? Yeah, right there. That is perfect. And we're technically outside of the soccer field now. I don't know, the 3D printers withstood a lot of things. I don't know if it would withstand a soccer ball to the... A soccer ball to the enclosure? All right, I'm gonna do some one-wheel shuttling. Oh boy. All right, now that we finally got the solar panel in full sun, we got 171 watts of input and 172 watts of output. We are almost at a perfect balance and the 3D printer is going full on. We could, we could technically go for an entire day as long as we have sun just like this. Actually more than a day because we'd have all the backup power from the battery. Look at Abby over there. I put on a sweater because it got cold. Beautiful. Nice thing about this cool fall air is that your prints separate super fast. There we go. I'm not a fan of support material, but it's a necessary evil. All right, let's see. There we go. It is definitely not the same color, but it's, it's kind of unique. So I tried to model all the inside parts as well. Um, so hopefully it should hold the attachments on just the same as that one did. No problem. I hope it works. Yeah, it's too. Good meeting you. <laughs> Take care. Okay, what do we got? And I just thought I would try your brain on this little piece that goes over the filter. And I've had it replaced before. Um, so this is actually like a new piece. So that's what the only reason why it opens up is because it was a replacement. Um, oh. But it's like coming apart again. It's just really 
kind of badly made. And I was wondering if there's any way of like reinforcing it. Um, it doesn't have to come off. It just needs to be able to like come off the filter like that. Is this like an aftermarket piece or it's from Dyson? This is from Dyson. Okay. They sent it to me as a repair piece, but it broke again. Oh no. <laughs> come on, Dyson. What are you doing? They were kind enough to send me this one for free, but to repurchase, it's like $100. Wow. Yeah, which is crazy for like a $600 unit. Someone brought by this Dyson hair dryer. <gasps> Ooh, do you know about these? Of course I do. So this filter piece broke and then Dyson sent them a replacement and the replacement also broke. I was saying like, if I just glue this on, it's not gonna be very strong. So what I'm doing is, I am gonna glue it together. But what I'm also going to do is make like this shape. So this will be two rings that kind of sandwich over one another mm -hmm. and then I can glue them together to kind of clamp around it. Perfect, okay, so we make that point one. I think that Good. Actually, I might have messed this design up. I might need to do it again. I just. All right, moment of truth, Morley. Did you make them long enough? Okay. Okay, like this. Oh no, it's perfect. So see that this one goes over, and the other one goes over like that. Morley, what are the two parts that you're mixing? So it's epoxy and hardener. I, I don't know what they are, but you have to mix them together to get resin that works. Um, I think if it's something complicated, I might not be listening very much, but I can <laughs> I can carry on a conversation. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I was joking the other day with Morley. I was like, if you get big enough, you could like hire someone to do your B-roll. As opposed to, you can do it any day, not just when I'm off work. <laughs> and I was like, wait, no, don't, I like it, it's fun. Yeah, you do, great. I've seen you on YouTube. Oh yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Like the pallet wood desk, the table. Yep, that was me. All right, this is gonna be the tricky part. Don't worry, I'm zoomed in. This is very funny. You got it, Morley. All right. Just so surprised that like the piece broke twice. Yeah, come on, Dyson. These are like two 3D printed rings that are glued into place. From a distance, I feel like it kind of, you can't tell too much. Yeah, I mean, it's better than a broken one or none at all. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, thank you so much. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank Have a good day. So Thank you. I have a piano stand. It's so funny. I actually 3D printed something similar to this. Oh, recently. you did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is how it looks like snapped off, and so this one's on its way there too. So I have had this one glued back on. Oh, okay. And it seems sturdy. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So that might be worth trying. They you just can't find the broken piece? Um, no, I can't. <laughs> you know what? It's worth a try. Yeah. Because it's such a small piece. Yeah. I mean, I can definitely print it and see. Yeah, I'm happy to try glue it on and give you feedback. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it actually works or not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. These pieces broke off. So I could recreate it and then like glue it back on. The last time we did it, like no one came until noon. But I was actually there from nine to five. So I was like, well, for today, I'll just do 12 to five. But of course, today's the day when I got all these complicated repairs <laughs> that I didn't have enough time to do. So I'm actually like taking this one home to do tomorrow. Uh, and then I'll just bring it back to her. All right, we out. All right, let's power up the hill. Oh boy. Whew. Made it. That was a workout. All right, back in the alley where we belong. All right, a successful day of repairs, but it's not finished yet. We didn't have a chance to fix Justinia's music stand. So I'm bringing that with me as homework. And right as Eden and I were packing up, a man named Norm came with a really interesting fix for his bike. So I'm gonna fix that as well. Don't worry, we're still gonna do it in this video. All in all, I am super happy with how that went. Some great repairs, but also just awesome conversations with people in the park. And so many smiles, so many people just happy to see us doing something wholesome and interesting. 
could not have asked for better weather. The perfect mixture of sunny and cool. All in all, fantastic day. Now let's go do those last two repairs. Problem. So I basically remade the tabs and then 3D printed them okay. uh, and epoxy them in place. Hope it'll get some more life out of them. Thank you again. No problem. Yeah. All right, here we are. Hi. Um, does Norm live here? Hey, there it is. Awesome. Yes, I think I can definitely reproduce that. them all done. Here is the original and then I beefed up some of the parts to make so, the 3D printed part a little stronger and I made two in case no. uh, you need an extra. Wow. Should we test it out? And my bike is just through this gate. All right let's see. The rack is here. The original part probably doesn't matter which one I use. Let me try the new one right here. And that is, here we go. That is how it works. Awesome. And it seems to work so well that maybe I won't bother reading. Really. <laughs> That's great. Well, anyway. I hope it holds up, gives you some more life. Yes. All right. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you so much. No problem. And now, can I have any more success paying you? No. Than I did paying Uncle the, Louis? the video All is right. payment in and of itself. Trust me. If you would like to see what I'm up to behind the scenes, consider supporting this channel on Patreon. All of my patrons get exclusive access to the behind the scenes Instagram page. To learn more about that, head on over to patreon.com slash MorleyKurt. And I would like to give a special thank you to my top patron, my mom, Kathy Kurt. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.